Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are doing a game that I uh, like quite a bit. Uh, I played this game when it first hit. This is probably one of my favorite uh, FPS games. And I will say I like it enough where next to Doom, I would actually say this is my number one FPS game. I feel like if you don't play these two, you're not living. So let's uh, let's get into these here. We're gonna do the first, and I'm not doing lightning for oil. Let's start here. So for those of you who do not know your FPS history, you play, I believe, Caleb, a person pissed off because you were betrayed by your rather, well, dickheaded there you just saw, um, a cult deity. You were part of a cult that worshipped said deity, and now this deity has betrayed you. So you were off to basically beat the shit out of a pagan god, get your lady back, and get your revenge. What makes Blood unique are a variety of things from its weird and twisted humor. And we're gonna play quite a bit of this, I think. Boom! You can kick heads by it, which used to be an awesome cast on play. Um, two, this is the new version, which I believe Night Dive Studios has just put out in conjunction with Atari. A name that as a kid in the 80s I was all about Atari. I, I even made an Atari poster that I hung up on my wall. Uh, we even used to go to garage sales and pick up... Uh, people didn't sell the games for Atari because they were still new, but some parents who didn't know better would sell the instruction books. So me and my friends would take and make these cool posters out of random instruction books. Um, now this is the player gun. One thing that I love about Blood is the fact that I had never played a game like it at the time. Look at the HUD alone. You're going to notice the labor of love that has went into a very bizarre... Oh yeah, the compass. <laughs> that goes into the game, I'm not gonna lie. I will never get sick of that. Um, there is a... I'll say this, as far as... FPSs go, even Doom pales in comparison to the level of horror gaming that uh, Blood had. Blood to me was more horror movie, Doom to me was more action horror, you know what I mean? Like really Doom was more like an action movie that just happened to be set in a horror setting. Blood to me is a horror movie that happens to be a first person game. One thing about Blood that you have got to watch are these zombies. They're not the quickest, but they are relentless, and they will come around every corner if they can. I love this gun. I actually forgot how useful it is here. It's been many years since I played Blood. I actually got uh, Blood years ago uh, as a sharer title. I want to say it was sharer. And then happened upon a, a full release. A buddy of mine sold me his copy because he did not. Uh, his his mother was religious, so he was not allowed to play the evil game. And I was like, uh, just play it. But he's not around. I'll be mad. He was like, I can't. My mom's gonna get mad. So he has lost my game, and I happened upon a game that was fun, unique, crazy, 
in all the best ways. Uh, I feel like blood is such a understated gem. Um, and hopefully my Let's Play will uh, show you that. You can hear... For now, just for the sake of the Let's Play, I'm going to mix some music a bit, because I want you out here... Some of this stuff. So see, there's a little thing up here I need to get there. Base region. Um, but there are a lot of little tidbits, a lot of little things you can actually interact with in blood. Great, great areas to go through, like a um, mausoleum cemetery, and I didn't forget that much. Kill it with fire! WW. And of course, one of the most famous characters in all of blood, Jojo the Circus Freak. Or Jojo the Circus Monkey. If you don't know Jojo the Circus Monkey, you will. Because anybody worth their weight in FPS games knows Jojo. Jojo the Circus Monkey was a star. Um, and yes, you saw that right. The light switches in this game worked without mods, they worked by default. And it was an awesome thing. Um, sorry I'm really taking my time here, guys. This is a very near and dear game in my heart. Uh, I put in for a key for this game. Atari was kind enough to grant that key, and I feel like I just won the lotto today because you all have no idea. This is one of those games that if they made like 90,000 versions of it, I'd still own all of them, you know? Uh, I love but uh, the game. By the way, let me just say this. The fact that you have to say I love blood in that context, I'm convinced they knew what they were doing when they when they made that a thing. But I feel like there was some groundbreaking stuff at work in this game. Please make sure you do not miss the sawed off, whatever you guys do. Also, kill these rats with that DM. Kill them with this thing, you know? You wanna... oh, apparently that's not gonna work. Jerks. Anyway, I tell you to kill him with something, and then I can kill him. That's the only thing. Okay, <sighs> yes, I just drink blood. That's the level of humor we're at. This game. I want to say uh, sometimes you got some stuff for this, like uh, yes, that was bad there. Um, no. I believe they've changed it slightly on um, in my, my shooty weapons. I do not quite remember where the hell my ammo is, but I believe there is a way to use it. No, do not be speaking. Uh, what was it? Doctor's bag one. Nope. Okay, well one of the hotkeys will go through my ammo. You can see it down there. Let's actually look that up. It's, that's going to... Useful, shall we? Finding. So, what is my inventory stuff, guys? Let's open. Medicin M. Okay. And E and R in my inventory. Got it. I can hit E. And see right there. I uh, guess hit the middle mouse button, leaves that. And we're gonna keep it on there, because I feel like, uh, I don't need that. Now, uh, I will say, Blood is certainly one of those games that I feel uh, it's always going to benefit from not just being an iconic game, but uh, the joy of Blood was the fact that it was, oh shit, at the time a very bloody game. Um, it's, again, not that doomed where these others weren't. But Blood was not afraid to get as gory as it wanted to. Uh, it wasn't afraid of controversy. It had fun with everything it was doing, I feel. Anyways. They're not happy that I only got one secret. I sucked at it. I believe this is the level with Jojo, the, uh, the circus monkey, if I remember. There we go. Yeah, it's... Uh, 
Fresh victims for the ever growing army of the undead. Yeah. So, again, we play Caleb, a man jaded for the fact that the deity of the cult he uh, once worshipped has, you know, killed him, taken his loved one. Uh, I thought it, I could have swore it was his wife. Maybe it was just his girlfriend, but I want to say it was his wife. But, uh, the Fallen God. But his name wasn't Fallen God, but we had a cooler name than that. I just found Fallen God. I can't remember the damn name. I'm gonna say I knew he wasn't dead yet. like this. A lot of fun. Now those are the cultists. They talk in um, Old Latin. And they're crazy. But very entertaining as you see. There are secrets all over the place. Uh, I am horrible with remembering those. Jesus, let me jump. Me jump. If you look at even the effects here on the sprites, right? This, the lighting on fire, on the caucus there, how he, uh. No one likes. Like, the fact that he, uh, went up into flames there, all that, and deteriorated. Uh, they did a lot, I feel like, with the number of sprites per character that they were using back then. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say they had more than Doom, because that would be ignorant, because I don't know for sure. But I will say, again, I very much enjoyed this game, and I don't have a single complaint about my time playing it. Blood for me is always going to be a revolutionary game because I feel like it did a lot I haven't seen other games like it do. And again, you know, the biggest thing is obviously it was... Oh god, I was going to say. I knew I had to kill him before he got me. It was come in handy. Those will come in handy. Now, um... One thing I would have liked to have seen here, I'm not going to lie, is some new texture work done, but I think maybe down the road that'll happen. Or maybe there's a, a mod for it already, I don't know. Which is ironic, you think I would, since I have done Brutal Doom as a walkthrough, or walkthrough, let's play rather. But uh, no, I do not know if there is a mod here that someone has done for new, uh, new textures. There is obviously always going to remain a sort of bias, I think, for the old textures for games like this. And I get that. Also, man, my health is just sucking horribly right now. Yeah. I knew I was going to get it. That was rough. Did you see that, uh, did you see that thing there, guys? That was Jogo. The circus idiot. Let's start off here and do some zombie. Some zombie killing. Not, not, let's not do the zombie. It's a different thing all together. But we're gonna do this, and oh my god, here, oh my god, how did you do that, you moron? That was awful right off the bat. Ding, ding. Fresh victims for ding. the growing army of the undead. Boom, boom. Right. 
little king king. Comment below if you know what that's from. Some of you might. I don't know personally if you know, but cool kids will know what it is anyway. I guess we'll see if y'all do or you don't. I don't know. The sad thing is I used to know what they were saying in, in Latin in this game, but I'm not brushed up on Latin anymore. I'm not versed in it. Not that I was ever very versed in it, but I used to know what they said in this game anyway. Not because I was versed in Latin, but because I looked it up. You guys can still act impressed though, I appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm telling you that I like, studied Latin overseas or any of that BS, I did not. I just want the credit for something, though, that's all. Alright. It's time to get my stabbies on. Now, I need to remind you all, this is only the second difficulty setting. And some of you are like, oh, this is a cakewalk, but uh, these things are its a little tougher than Doom was as well. Um, I feel like it. Uh, I think that some of these things that it had going for it gave it charm, like being able to kick the heads off things around. It was actually, in the circus section, you'll see the best carnival I've ever seen in a game, because it is totally demented and in bad taste, and I think it's hilarious. Um... I don't know, I feel like this is one of the last shooters like this that really just was not afraid to push boundaries and willingly push boundaries a ton. And it did. If you do not know what I'm referring to, you probably have not played that uh, much of this game, but there, there were some pretty messed up jokes, I think, for a, just, you know, a shooter game. And away we go. Curious, does anybody know who did the voice of Tails in this game? I used to know the dude's name, I do not anymore, because I was going to credit him, but I don't, I don't quite remember. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. I suppose I could look it up, but uh, I do like to try and involve you guys in the channel, so... Yeah, so there you go. That's a thing you guys can look up and let me know who it is. Who is Caleb? Sort of like who was phone, but probably funnier because my jokes suck. Man, that's twice that area's got me, guys. Um, I want to say I feel like I've already missed a secret here. <sighs> like I said, there were secrets everywhere. I, yours truly, just don't remember them. I'm actually just gonna die there on purpose because I wanted to, uh, wanted to get that far away from me. So, I'm gonna get this. Kill him. Deal with him first. You can hear a dog going crazy. There we go. Much better start. Uh, now, there's some funny jokes in this game, and I think, uh, like I said, back in the day, I've Fresh never seen a game the like Blood. I still think Blood has some of the best humor I've seen in a game like this. Uh, some of it's a little screwy, some of it's kind of messed up, but I think it makes it, I don't know, I feel like it gives it a little charm, you know? Yeah. 
Um, also, you noticed something that was very common in games back then, which was to have a mix of flat wall sprites and try and pass them off as 3D sprites because the technology wasn't really there yet. And interact with guys like this dude hanging there as if he's 3D even though he's not. Um, no, I mean, I think that this game definitely influenced a lot of other games that came after. This, this is probably one of the most influential 3D, well, whatever you want to call it. False 3D shooter, whatever, I don't care. It's still a, it's a decent game, but I think this was most certainly a game that influenced a lot of shooters, period. You really can't have the genre of these things without including, uh, without including what? So what things do I think get influenced, as you can see here, you're looking at multi-level things. Some of you will remember, by the way, the one Falk Doom had, which was just the, um, what do they call it, the multi-floor map, it was not a thing that could really happen, even, I can't remember the way they, they did it, but I remember John Romero talking about how hard multi-floor was for Doom. And yes, they had platforming and stuff like that, but when it came down to a one floor on top of the other is basically what I'm referring to. They could not do that, despite their best efforts to make it happen. It just didn't happen. Um, now why, again, I do not quite remember, but I do remember that it was something that wasn't feasible. With the, uh, I want to say it wasn't a build engine. At that time, it wasn't happening. Uh, tell you one thing, man, I certainly wish there were a few more pickups around here, so let us see. There we go, guys. Wrong side of the tracks, this one is called. I love the not so subtle reference to 666. I also used to really love the crazy, like, Homer Simpson's yelling they did, cracking up, man. Hey, guys. I'm running all over the place here, guys. Took me, uh... Took me a while to get some of my friends into this. Uh, if I remember it, the era of this was around the same time Rides of the Triad hit. And these were these sorts of new age shooters in terms of being slightly different, having more that was going on here, not being the same old thing that, uh, you know, I mean, before this you had Spirit Destiny, you had uh, Doom, you had, you know, you had basically the ID shooters, and these had some dark humor, in some cases some stuff that would upset parents. Uh, they were a little more, you know, a little more cutting edge, I feel, in terms of kinds of enemies, variety of weapons, they just had more going on than Doom and any of them did at the time. I feel like it. I am having an awful time here, guys, trying to keep my health in a good spot. I have a resounding... Yes, baby. Oh, I know you. We'll get it, guys. We'll get it. Do one more try on this puppy. Um, we'll get it. Get up. It's coming in there, but it's a scam likely, so. Nope. That's one of my favorite ones. Mm, fresh victims for the ever growing army of the undead. Uh, 
there are some amazing weapons, by the way, here, I will say, including, but not limited to, a voodoo doll. Uh, I had never seen that before in a first-person shooter. So actually, yeah, before anybody asks well, what sorts of things separated us all that, uh, probably the weapon variety is one thing, let's see. The second, like I said, is the odd humor. Um, like I said, there's a section in this that has the weirdest... See, I just kicked ahead there, that had the weirdest version of carnival games ever. It's like a... Considering you could literally just run up and kick ahead, and uh, it was sort of like the the shooting gallery, only you could kick the heads into things. I want to say, um, there's one of them that you use to kick the heads into things. It's not the shooting gallery, one of them. I might be wrong on it being the shooting gallery, but I know there was one of them. Alright. Um, yeah, I remember at the time, uh, usually I was, when I first started getting into first-person shooters, I went a little nuts with them where I remember, like, Doom, for example, the first computer I ever had, I had that on, and I also had this on that one. It's a 46DX computer, um, Windows 3.1, I was rolling big, DOS 6.2, I want to say. Um, PK Zip installed, I thought it was awesome. And, uh, yeah, I, I remember... <laughs> so old. Uh, I remember being enthralled with this game when it hit, because I was like, this is something different. This isn't, uh, this is the vibe of it. Uh, I loved the horror atmosphere, this dark, weird cult type angle. Um, that your guy really wasn't, you know, again, in Doom, you're sort of like, you're a hero. You might be killing a bunch of people, but at the end of the day, you're a hero, you know. To me, what separated this one, for example, was, even in Wolfenstein 3D, you're killing Nazis, you're, you're a hero, you know what I mean? You are through and through, right off the bat, cut and dry hero. I feel like what made this one interesting to me was, you were kind of an anti-hero. You were already not considered an innocent guy, you were, I mean, you were literally a cultist already, now you worship a cult, so not exactly the type of guy that perhaps your uh, wife would want to bring home to dinner to meet your folks, but still your own thing. Um, so yeah, I thought this game was very interesting with that, that's for sure. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I'm still enjoying it right now. Get back to the present. So I can get starting to wax too much of that. But man. It is a trip to be playing this after so long and see how decent everything still feels to play and uh <laughs> oh, hello. And uh just in general, you know, I feel like this is wow. If you noticed earlier, this time I had saved this guy. Like I said, I had a strategery. Guys, some strategery going on. Pocket full of shells, rally around the. Alright. Do it! Do any of you two ever like jump when you uh, play a game like this and the enemy starts charging toward you? I think sometimes I do forget with these zombies to run up and double triple cap them and there are times I still miss the ball for like, You know what I mean? I'll still fall for it when I forget. You bitch. Well, anyways guys, this is blood. Trust me, there's a lot of fun stuff with it. So what we're gonna do now... Um, is we're gonna try... It's a few simple levels, let you see some stuff here. So these are different little episodes. I'm, and it's not that I'm trying to do all of them, but I want you guys to see some of the things you can do with this. Some of the, uh, the items. So if I remember right in this one... Farther along the story in the episode. Uh, not to mention, as you can see, this version of this has all of the DLC, which could sometimes be a little hard to find, actually. Uh, right in this. 
the weapons, as I said, feel satisfying, and you can see that here. And yes, I went easy and cheap on the actual difficulty. I don't really care, because we're not here to free things, we're here to have fun. The crazy art, you know, still present. Loving it already. Not to mention, every one of these guns has an alternate firing mode, which is also cool. These effing things, again. Yes, those are spiders. Oh, yes, I've not shown you guys this. Alright, you guys are gonna love this. Uh, let me show you a creative. <laughs> Instead of a flamethrower, they could have given you a flamethrower. Instead, they've done this. And I absolutely love it. I think it is awesome. Yes, you saw that uh, Tommy Gun spray there. As I said, every game, every uh, every weapon has an alternate mode. Um, so yeah, I like I said, man, I am I'm pretty stoked to show you guys this because again, loved the game when it hit. I uh, used to take these games, even if I got them early in the week, usually, I would wait until dark, and then I would get myself a Pepsi. Looking for that endorsement deal, Pepsi. Hit me up. And I would uh, play them. Um, I actually remember one of my favorite memories of a game like that, guys, was a little title called Monkey Island. Some of you might know it. And uh, I just actually got dumped that, at that time. I was younger, and when that uh, happened, I was pretty bummed. Uh, a friend of mine, I still remember, named Dan. Um, although he went by Daniel, which was crazy because he was probably like the only guy I know named Dan that went by his phone name instead. But uh, yeah, he had. He was telling me about LucasArts games, and I didn't really know much about them at the time. Uh, and he introduced me into them with Miguel. So. This whole era for me was amazing, and an era that uh, I think I said before, you know, I really hope you all get to enjoy these sorts of games, because if not, you're missing out. Um, I would say, oh uh, yes, I almost forgot about this one. So yeah, this one is awesome, these guns. So when you have ones like this here, you can even alternate fire with them. The Kimbo mode doesn't last forever, but it's good for it's good for all of them. Devastating man, you can do some serious damage. Um, so, what are we doing again? We're gonna do yet another one. Let's do uh let's do Force Mortem. I believe Force Mortem is Actually, knows somebody sometime. Everybody knows somebody sometime. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember these games even having a crazy name, like the the uh, One was about I think extra blood unit. One was. Uh, one extra blood unit, one of the, of the DLC. And obviously, they weren't DLC then, but they were a viable expansion pack. But uh, they did pretty good, man. Um, it's funny to me, though, how many of these things were back then, if you think about it. Shareware was a pretty crazy concept, right? There was no internet. It would take you, uh, for some games, like, ages to go on your local bulletin board system and download the shareware. But, uh, we would still just to see what the new game was that everybody was playing. And not even just so much that, so we could play it, just to, uh, ancestry. Give me that. I need a key. 
I need a lot of things right now. He's just one of them. I am so not loving this. Stab you. I'm just gonna just do trash talking. I can do that too, pal. Not a football! Alright. You speak Latin and I swear at you, I apologize. I have no idea what the hell I said. Boom. I need a key. Yeah, I know. We're there already. Uh, so... I need a key. You son of a bitch. I think I would know better and stop doing that, and yet I've done it like eight times in this game. I think for me it's just the nostalgia too is not helping because I keep wanting to look around at the level more for getting there more guys. And I want to see everything and look around at everything because I like small details in games. And for one person every time in a level, oh god, I forgot about this damn thing. Can we get it off again? How do I get you off of here, you little shit? No, help! Help me, help. Oh god, I don't remember how to, how to do this one. There we go. Piss off, you stupid hand. And I'm the guy with the gun. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very horror-themed game, a lot of good stuff in it. Um, if you have not played this, and I'm just saying this now, I cannot say that you have played a lot of first-person shooters until you, until you add this one to the mix, because to me, Blood is as quintessential to play if you like FPS games as Doom is. Um, I think it's that important just for the fact that so much of the stuff that people like about Doom and uh, a lot of the the modern games help come from games like Blood. The weapon variety was something that felt new because it wasn't the same guns you got in every other game. It felt very different. It didn't feel copied. It didn't feel like a rehash of things, you know, and... I mean, mind you, some of those were just company assets, so you would have a game like Wolfenstein, and you would have Doom. Uh, Wolfenstein was a much easier, earlier engine, so you were going to have some things that felt copied. Um, I mean, they were using the same engine. But I feel like with things like Blood, you didn't quite have that worry, because this was an in-house engine. It was something unique. And I'm very happy that uh, Night Dive took this over and decided to bring it back. I'm elated, in fact. Um, I've been following the news on that since I first heard it. And I'm not going to lie to you all, I was pretty much a giddy school child as soon as I found out they were doing this. Because if any game got remade, it would be instantly upgraded, playable on minor devices with all the stuff that needed to have installed on it. Yada yada, I, I'm quite happy that it was this one. Um, I feel like, again, you know, this, this game doesn't. Yeah, I'm dark, man, so you gotta make those shoes. Now, you're basically playing another game about hell, but not the same way. This one could be summed up in a way as uh, a lot darker, I think. And that's saying something, because really the story of Doom was pretty dark too, but this wasn't. I don't really feel like they're even honestly comparable, even though I compared it to Doom a ton. I feel like the stories are unique enough that they're each their own thing. Um, yeah, I mean, for one thing, it had jump, so that was already something new to a lot of people with a FPS game. You know, you're talking about uh, breaking limits on um, jumping was a big deal, and if you think that I'm kidding you, uh, go back and play an unmodded early shooter, and you'll see what I mean. The, even the aiming. I believe the original had mouse aiming. These are all things that help to separate it and make it something harder, as you see, 
but also something that made it feel like you had a lot more control over both your character. Um, as I said, the weapons were amazing. There was such a weird variety of them, and they were pretty weird. Victims, aren't we all? Love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, so uh, I hope you all don't mind that I jumped around a bit here. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys more of a variety uh, look into this game itself, you know. And uh, so we will do. Let's do Dead Reckoning, eh? Alright. You will also, of course, note that the farther down the list I go, the harder some of these will look. That's because I believe they are, if I remember. Um, along with being just different episodes, some had different mechanics. You know, one was in the water. Um, one was on a boat. But the water is a good example of that multi-level field that I was talking about that early games couldn't handle. Um, like I said, I, I feel like I'm correct in saying blood and... Uh, I want to say I'm correct in saying that blood and... Son of a bitch. The other one I was referring to there, Rise of the Triad, came out around the, the same time. Around the... that's a term. Around at the same era. See, even like those little music, all that. Um, yeah, I remember like the first night I got this, it used to be my thing. I would go get a Pepsi, ice, ice cold Pepsi. I used to drink it in the glass jar before Pepsi quit making that a standard. Pepsi, y'all need to bring that back. I'm shocked they haven't done like a 12 pack, you know, a 12 pack of the glass bottles. I think people would buy them easily. I, I know I would. Please. Um, Pepsi. You need, you need to do this, man. And then, uh, I, will, I will gladly accept a gratuitous gift of uh, a year supply of Pepsi. Thank you. Thank you. Pepsi's probably like, who is this nerd? Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like uh, I had a little setup, you know. Um, and then I would usually have a snack or two ready to go. And that would be it, usually. Um, I would have a plate of nachos, so I'd use my Doritos, some nacho cheese, and uh, usually some chili. One of the hot sauces I liked at the, at the moment. And that would be a snack on a Friday night that I was not out. I need a key. Um, yes, yours truly had a social life. Some of you are dying to make jokes there, but don't bother. So, let's see if there are games up. Oh, and there is. There's a co-op. Am I in it? Am I not in it? It said 4-4. Four, four. Oh, I was afraid of that. Eh, sometimes I still try to do them, though, because, uh, I don't know. There's a lobby, so we're gonna hit this to do some multiplayer, because if I'm gonna do a full game, I'd rather do the multiplayer, too. So, it looks like there are four of us here. I don't know if they're gonna start yet, or what they're gonna... Alright, and there we go. Yes, we're at the circus, guys. This is the one I was trying to show you. So Jojo, the the idiot, uh, the idiot circus monkey, I believe, was in here. Oh, 
Um, forgot about that. <laughs> Little lag there, clearly. What happens? Oh my god. I can't believe I just effing got there with only five left. Oh, oh, oh. See, we're on co op, clearly. Oh my god, you can spend my legs. Oh, it's looking good, guys. Thanks for coming, please. Um, but no, man, so like I said, this came to me as a good time all around. I feel like, especially if you don't take it too serious, you're going to have a really good time with this game. Um, I am happy, because growing up, I only got to play co-op a few times, and now co-op is built into this, so that alone is the price of admission. Uh-huh. See the circus joke I made there, guys? happening no matter what I do. OMG, that hurt. Fear Gus, Fear Gus, try not to look at us. Sorry, guys. Old song was one dork that used to do my stuff used to uh time of down and so so but clearly I'm meant to go down here and find something I believe, so let's see what it is that we're meant to find. I don't know what's up with it, but then I know I'm going to try to get there. And holy cow, there's a lot of room to go up here. Ah! That's all. This guy said motherfucking bitch. Um, I love this game, man, uh, and I've said it a bunch, but if you guys need a glowing recommendation on a good shooter to pick, I mean, just look at the game itself, I think it speaks for itself here. This is a fun game, it is a good game, it is probably one of the best uh, in its class as far as a decently priced first-person shooter that doesn't need a ton of... Just letting the dude know I'm up here. Uh, as far as not needing a bunch of crazy... ...add-ons or any of that. I mean, they're all, they're all in here. I believe there's even a Steam Workshop thing. I'll have to look into it. But uh, it would not surprise me with all the bells and whistles you do get with this puppy. So I would say... This is definitely on the shit own list. If you call yourself a first person fan and you haven't played this, do yourself a favor and play it. If you have played it uh, and you're old school like I am about it, then what are you waiting for? This is a no brainer already. You know that if you've already played it. Um, so I would say if you're not sure if they do a good job and that's what you're worried about, and I hope I have shown you firsthand that Night Dive has done a remarkable job, you know, along with Atari, at getting this thing where it needs to be in terms of modern computers. Um, and I have a pretty finicky computer with some games. There are quite a few Let's Plays I wanted to do for games, and I haven't been able to because, frankly, 
there are just certain things uh, that will not go well with the game itself. So, and that has that's a thing that's happened. So I would say for this, pick it up if you guys haven't already. I love that I'm gonna die in this uh, slew of just who is my hero? Yeah! Gotcha's. Uh, that is from Gravest Warriors, I used to watch it show with my daughter. Uh, that is from Cat Hog, who is an adorable, weird little creature. He says in one park, we're friends now, we can have soft tacos later. If you're not seeing Cat Hog, the thing is ridiculously cute. Um, and even here as a grown man, I can admit the thing is frigging adorable. For an almost sickening level. And yet, sort of fascinating. Anyways, um, there we go. This has been Blood. Uh, click below, I'll have the link up as I do with all our stuff. If you have not subscribed already, subscribe. We have new content monthly. Uh, we have more stuff going on, and we have new surprises coming for you guys, including some more Let's Play War games, and, uh, of course, Let's Reviews. We have a whole lot of stuff going on. So, make sure uh, you check it all out. I am, of course, Bones. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment below your f favorite setup for playing your favorite games. What do you do? Do you have a little ritual? Do you have a drink you always use uh, that you have to have? Do you have a favorite snack during a gaming session? Uh, I'll extend an olive branch and say even if it's not first-person shooter. When you get a brand new game, you drop your hard-earned money on it. What is your go-to thing when you have some spare time to sit down, I'm not talking about like rushing and playing one. When you can actually invest the time to enjoy it, what is your go-to setup? Your go-to uh, snack, your go-to drink, we'll start there. Uh, anyways, comment below, you guys have a great day. Make it bloody. See what I did there?